This is Alim from Javelin with the third video from the series dedicated to the import diagnostics tool. How to use import diagnostics for healing topological errors on imported geometry. And I have a very interesting case in front of me. The model has been posted on SOLIDWORKS forums by David Burnick. Thank you, David. And uh, let's see what the problem is. So I'm going to go directly to the import diagnostics. And... Uh, you can see here I have 17 faces that are being reported as having problems. If you remember from uh, my previous two videos, the fact that a face is lit listed here does not necessarily mean that there is a problem uh, with it. I'm pretty sure I can find a face that's absolutely valid. Let's see if we can find it here. Yeah, this one looks like it should be there, but because there are other faces that are interacting with it in a in a way that it goes against the topological rules for having a solid, this face is reported as having a problem. Very similar to what we did uh, in the previous videos, if you try to attempt to heal all this specific part, you're not going to get anywhere, just because there are um, problems that are more complex than what the automated tool can do. So we're going to have to manually uh, fix these faces one by one. And allow me to start with the first phase. Phase number one, I'm going to ask SOLIDWORKS to show me where it is. Zoom to selection. And it's buried somewhere in the middle of the part. Really, there should, no, there should be no face on the other side of, uh, of this solid. I mean, somewhere in the middle of the solid. So, I'm going to say this face, face host has to go. As you can see, the caption there it says that this face pierces through the solid. There is no solid there, but it actually uh, goes through other faces without having common edges with those faces. So that's not possible in a solid body. So I'm just going to delete it. The moment you delete a face, you're going to get gaps. And we're going to ignore them for now. Let's go to the next face. Where are you? Zoom to selection. You see this big blue face that actually goes through the other faces and what's interesting here, I don't know if you can see, but there is a black edge on, on this vertical face on the rib. That means that's also another little face in the middle. So that black edge is actually not an edge that belongs to the blue face. That means this face also has to go. I'm going to delete it. Moreover, notice here I should have a blue edge. Remember that blue edges are open edges, edges that belong to only one face. So this edge over here should actually belong only to the rib, but apparently belongs to another face that's be behind the rib. So let me dig for that face. I'm going to go select other. And as you can see, when I do select other, I'm removing the face that was in front of me. And now I can select the face that's on the opposite side. This face should not be there at all. So we're just going to delete it. This is what I want. I want to see here a blue edge. Let's go to the next face that's complaining. Zoom to selection. And I have a similar problem on another side of another rib, so I'm going to delete this face also. Have a gap, this is what I want. Another face that's uh, crying, and it's uh, the same uh, problem on a different rib. I'm going to delete this one. Another face, zoom to selection. This big face, let's see which one is this. Is this face over here. I'm going to say there is probably nothing wrong with it. Most likely there is another face that's piercing through it. And you can see I, I pretty much was able to select it. Is this face too? I'm just going to delete it. So the moment I, I delete that one, notice that this is no longer listed as a, as a problem face. Right? I, I solved the problem for this big face. Next. Zoom to selection. I have... Let's see where it is. Uh, sometimes when you go zoom to selection... It's showing you the, the face from the wrong side, so you can try invert zoom to selection, hoping that you're going to get it in a, on a better position. So again, nothing wrong with this face. Let's go to the next one. This is the one that's actually wrong, so I'm just going to delete that. Notice I had before 17 errors, and I believe I deleted altogether about 4 or 5 faces, but now I have only 4 faces that are complaining. Let's continue our, our investigations. Zoom to selection. And where are you? Oh, is this guy over here? Again, most likely there is nothing wrong with it, but this guy should go. It pierces through the other face. One last 
face. So I'm going to go one more time, zoom to selection. And uh, I'm going to actually ask this face what's wrong with it. You can see it. It's, it's this one. So what's wrong with you, Mr. Face? Well, I have a general geometry problem. In this case, I can actually ask SOLIDWORKS to repair it. So we're good. The only problem we have right now, there are no problems with the faces, but we have tons of gaps. Let's do a little bit of manual inspection or visual inspection before we go forward. So what I'm looking for is that all these gaps should have blue edges all around. So I see blue here, I see blue there, that's good. Let's go to the next one. Blue here, blue there, that's good. Blue, blue, and blue. Excellent. Coming to this point, blue, so it, all of them are open edges. I don't want to see a black edge anywhere because that would mean there is another little face on the opposite side. So there is no problem there. Now we're just going to have to get rid of these gaps. So I'm going to ask this time SOLIDWORKS to attempt to heal all of them. Let me zoom in. Heal all. And hopefully the, the faces that we're missing are going to be recreated. And you can see now when I'm selecting one of these new faces that actually terminates right here. It doesn't go through the solid anymore. Moreover, this now is being recognized as a solid. And if I'm doing a check, there are no problems with this part. Thank you.